Hey everyone, welcome back to Nintendo Prime. We actually have um, uh, only two stories to talk about today. One of them a bit more in-depth than the other, uh, but it's still really worth talking about. Now, we actually have spent a lot of time today setting up some new merch. Uh, so if the store is actually working right now, Black Friday is kind of taking it down, but uh, if it's up and running, we will have it down below. There'll also be some discount codes as well. Uh, we launched our Hype Responsibly merch, uh, and as well as some of our other merch coming back in different ways. Uh, yeah, we got some discount codes for you. Some of it for free shipping, some of it just for money off. Obviously, use whichever code gives you the bigger discount. It's going to depend on what you order and how much you order. Uh, but I wanted to provide some sort of discounts for you guys here. Uh, these discount codes will be working all the way through the end of this month, by the way. So if you want to wait till tomorrow, Sunday, some other day this month to buy some merch from us, uh, that'd be great. Uh, unfortunately, this hat is not part of that merch. Uh, but we got a bunch of shirts, sweatshirts, uh, zip hoodies, um, some leggings for the, for the ladies out there or the men that like to wear them. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, though, I do want to remind you that we do have a giveaway event happening on this Sunday at 8.30 p.m. Central Time. It begins Prime Giving. We actually just bought some new equipment uh, for Prime Giving, so that's going to be fun. Uh, we have a lot of stuff we're giving away during Prime Giving, including a Nintendo Switch OLED system. In fact, hold on. The OLED's here. One second. <clears throat> Yeah, there it is. Uh, we're giving away this Nintendo Switch OLED along with a Satisfy Grip. Um, we actually have a link down in the description and the pinned comment to enter specifically for this grand prize giveaway, although you do need to be present to win. Uh, we have other giveaways going on as well, uh, including a special edition Nintendo uh, Switch Lite uh, that's based on around the new Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Uh, we got some Zelda Game & Watches to give away, along with some other prizes as well. I can't wait for Prime Giving. It is my way of giving back during the holiday season. So thank you guys so much, you guys are amazing. That being said, let's get into today's uh, two big news stories. So our first one deals with sales uh, from Japan. And I really wanna highlight, well, we're gonna go over the sales charts, but we're gonna have a little bit of a longer conversation around the game at number one because uh, it's kind of proving something that I've been saying about Switch for years. Uh, so let's just get into the sales for last week in Japan. Um, at number one, we have Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl moving 1,395,642 units. This is actually the second highest um, Switch debut in Japan. Uh, number two, we have Mario Party Superstars at 39,797 units. Uh, we have, number three, we have Battlefield 2042, a new release last week for PlayStation 4, at 25,268 units. Shin Megami Tensei 5 is at number four at 22,513 units. Battlefield 2042 for the PlayStation 5 is at number five at 21,637 units. And number six, we have Ring Fit Adventure at 11,822 units. At number seven, we have Animal Crossing New Horizons. Uh, at number eight, we have Minecraft. At number nine, we have Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. At number 10, we have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. At number 11, we have Pokemon Sword and Shield. Uh, at number 12, we have Call of Duty Vanguard for PlayStation 4, um, and so on and so forth. You guys see the rest of the list on the screen. Um, also of note is obviously system sales. And... Uh, the Nintendo Switch dominated. Uh, there was 167,778 total Nintendo Switch units uh, sold last week. Uh, Switch OLED is back on top. Nintendo finally provided enough stock for that. Uh, 68,796 units of just the OLED model. Another 60,512 units of the Switch, along with 38,470 units of the Switch Lite. Now, one thing I've been saying about Switch this entire time and Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro kind of proves a point because it didn't review very well. By all expectations, it should sell worse than uh, Sword and Shield. In fact, maybe just based on reviews, it should be better placed around Pokemon Let's Go Eevee uh, and Pikachu, which sold around 11, 12 million. But it definitely feels like Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pro with this sort of debut in Japan, and obviously debuting really well in the UK, is probably gonna be a 15 plus million seller. And it kind of proves a point that I've been talking about this whole time. One, there's the Switch effect, where every game is selling better on Switch. I don't know what the reasoning is. We had the Wii sell 100 million units, we had the DS sell 150 million units, and they didn't have this sort of impact on sales. Now, specific games, sure, the Wii Sports, the Wii Fits, 
But we're seeing, Mar you know, the best-selling Mario Kart game of all time, it's on Switch. The best-selling Animal Crossing game of all time, it's on Switch. The best-selling Zelda game of all time, it's on Switch. The best-selling 3D Mario game of all time, it's on Switch. Everything is selling better on Switch. The best-selling Luigi's Mansion is on Switch. It's really interesting to see this happen. Now, technically, the best-selling Pokemon is still the original um, releases on Gen 1, but, man, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl... Uh, which definitely looked like a game that didn't take a lot of development time. Now, Pokemon Diamond and Shining Pearl, which obviously didn't take a ton of development time, uh, is able to do this and not only show the health of Pokemon and obviously show that the whole Dexit situation really wasn't that big of a deal to the Pokemon company and the overall fan base of Pokemon. I know there's a lot of you very passionate about the fact that we're at least according to Game Freak, never going to have all of the Pokemon available in a single game again. Um, yeah, it really proved a point. You know, Sword and Shield sold 20 plus million. This is the next game after that, and it looks like it's on pace to sell over 15 million. Pokemon Legends Arceus next year, which has even less Pokemon, is likely going to sell another 10 plus million. Uh, Pokemon is super healthy, the Switch is super healthy, and if you release a much-anticipated game on Switch, it's going to sell well. I mean, at this point, will Breath of the Wild 2 outsell the original Breath of the Wild? Maybe. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so to me, this is just a, a, another level of proof that not only does everything sell on Switch and sell at high numbers, but also if you create something that's highly anticipated, which a Gen 4 Pokemon uh, remake or reboot or whatever you want to call this um, has been highly anticipated, it's going to sell well. So reviews be damned. Pokemon um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl is obviously a mega smash hit success for the holiday season for Nintendo. Mario Party Superstars continues to perform really, really well. That has a chance to be another 10 million seller. We'll see if it can outsell. I think it should outsell the other Super Mario Party, but we'll have to wait and see on the long tail sales of that. Uh, but yeah, I can't wait for Nintendo's official update uh, after this holiday season because it, these numbers are going to be astronomical. I mean, Switch might have broke another holiday record. Let's just put it that way. Moving on, our next story is about this really interesting um, Switch accessory that you can go support and buy for yourself. Uh, it's called the Orion Up Switch, and it takes your handheld um, Switch gaming and basically gives you a TV, an 11.6 inch TV. So on the surface, it kind of looks dumb, but I think this is the right idea the wrong execution. So look, the switch form factor, especially with OLED, I think is perfectly fine at essentially a seven inch screen. I think that is the perfect big screen size for switch. I don't think we need a bigger screen. I think the premise here is something promising and that is being able to take the TV experience and make it handheld because in tv you get 1080p in tv you get usually higher frame rates and better performance on your games so being able to do that portably will be nice so really what i think this should be is a super thin you know that they do exist a super thin uh screen that can go over the top of the switch oled or base switch that's a 1080p screen and then behind that um should be Maybe maybe you want to make it a little thicker. It's up to you. Uh, but behind that, I feel like should be a uh, a system that, that not only straps your switch into the back, but adds battery power, which this one does add battery power. Uh, but you add that battery power in so you can get the full TV mode for at least two and a half to three hours on the go. And suddenly on a seven inch display, especially if they gave you an OLED panel to match the switch OLED, you can end up with a seven inch OLED panel at 1080p running the games at full resolution and full frame rates like you get in TV mode. Now, would this add some extra heft? Absolutely. So does the Orion Up Switch. But the Orion Up Switch, as it is, is a little bit insane. I mean, they, they have this marketing material that says, ever since the release of Nintendo Switch, more than 80 million gamers globally have made gaming on the go a huge part of their daily ritual. Unfortunately, many of these gamers also believe that this handheld gaming experience is a bit underwhelming because of the minuscule size of the current Nintendo Switch screen. And I think that is actually incorrect. I think they just feel like the screen should be 1080p and we should have the full performance like we get when we dock it. And my idea is to basically take what they're doing here, 
but make it more user friendly on the go. I think that this is a little ridiculous. You're seeing some images of it. You saw probably a little trailer of it. The trailer itself isn't very good. There's a lot of flash bang in it, not a lot of form and function. So yeah, I look, it's a cool thing. Um, I mean, it, it's on Indiegogo. Uh, it runs for, you know, it's, it's not the cheapest thing. $289 for the hero pack. Uh, I think $249 for just the basic, uh, which I think the hero pack comes with a case um, and a t-shirt or something. So really 250 bucks, it seems, is, is what it's going to cost. And I, honestly, it still has massive bezels. It's still, I don't know. I mean, that screen they're giving you isn't OLED, it's LCD. So it's not gonna be a better viewing experience, um, but it will be 1080p and you will be able to get higher frame rates in a lot of games. So. It's a good idea, I think, wrapped in the wrong way of doing it. They're focusing more on basically giving you a giant TV to hold versus making a better screen technology with a battery that can enable TV mode on the go. Um, that's what I would have focused on. So um, I'm sure a product, now that I mentioned that, it's probably gonna come into existence now because I think it's actually a brilliant idea. Add a few more pounds out of your switch it might add a little heft but you'll get that full 1080p with everything i think i think that there's some value here i think the way they're doing it, it's a little bit more ridiculous uh it does come in the kickstand of course you can set it on but like at that point just play on your tv so anyways folks i am nathaniel rubble jance from nintendo prime thank you so much for tuning in um there won't be a live stream tonight like i planned i was gonna do a gaming live stream if you can't tell my voice is a little hoarse not because i'm sick Let's just say the holidays did not go as planned. Um, my voice might have uh, gotten to an argument with some family members, so uh, I kind of blew it out. So I'm kind of resting it on these longer stream videos because we have Prime Giving this Sunday, and I want to make sure I'm all good to go for that. Uh, so thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.